And that cold front's going to help us out in the tropics too. Here's where Larry is. Larry is still a category three. It's a giant storm. The eye yesterday was like 80 miles wide. I mean, this thing is huge and uh, it's going to be passing really close to Bermuda, which is right there on the map. So you can imagine as this passes uh, off the east coast, well off the east coast, it is going to send some energy in the form of waves. So it'll be pretty rough over here in our coastal areas on the east coast. Invest 91 is the one we've been watching and still not really worried about it. It is moving to the north now at six miles an hour. Not much to it, just some showers and storms with a big area of moisture here. It is all drifting to the north and as it drifts to the north, it's eventually going to make that northeast turn and head up into the Big Bend area of Florida and then off the east coast. It might actually try to reorganize some over here. So either way, uh, doesn't look like it's going to be our issue and still the chance that it get, becomes a depression. It's pretty low, only about a 30% chance of it doing that. So we really don't think this is in a good environment. There's too much wind shear. There's too much dry air. It's just not going to ever look that impressive. It doesn't look like there's the moisture associated with it. It tries to get to us, but then boom, there's the cold front. Big trough grabs onto this. It pulls it off all to the east, and then we got the dry air here by Thursday afternoon. So today and tomorrow, yeah, there'll be some storms around, but it just doesn't look like we're going to see any significant impacts from that system. As I mentioned, the cold front is on the way and this is these are dew points. These are not temperatures. These are dew point temperatures and whenever you have 70 degree dew point, the humid 60 degree dew points is nice. 50 degree dew points is pretty dry and you can see we are going to see our dew points drop into the 50s and 60s by Thursday, continuing to Friday. Even Saturday is looking pretty dry, so this is that nice feeling air and whenever you have dry air, the overnight hours are going to be cooler. So the overnight hours Friday morning. Look at this lower 60s on parts of the North Shore. We might even creep to the upper 50s just outside the Channel 4 viewing area. So nice, cool uh, feel to the air as you wake up Friday morning south of the lake. We'll even get on on some of that nice feeling air as well. So no, a lot of people need that, especially the people who do not have power.